I understand that uh, a recent invention has, yeah. or an well, ancient discovery. invention recently a found. Recent discovery, although recently understood discovery. It was actually discovered in the early 1900s. They uh, pulled this coral encrusted set of bronze gears. Uh, it was called the Antikythium uh, mechanism. Had no idea what it was out of the Mediterranean. Uh, it was acknowledged to be in excess of 2,000 years old. Uh, we don't know exactly how old, but you know, quite old. Early technology, early civilization. Mm -hmm. um, threw it on a shelf. In the 1990s, they decided to x-ray this thing and they saw, they, they saw, saw interior was 40 some perfectly formed bronze interlocking gears. Mm. Uh, and that mm. intrigued them. So a research team started studying it, came out with a report uh, in uh, 2007, I believe. It's all documented in this book, Brilliant. Um, the head researcher said, this mechanism is so important for human technological development understanding and so unique, it's more valuable than the Mona Lisa. That was his opinion of what he discovered. They reconstructed it based on all they had learned, figured out that it must have had like a, a handle on the front to turn a dial. You could line the pointer up to a series of, of charts and um, in, in, indentations on the back to pick a date, any date in the past, any date in the future, say pick a March 1st of 100 years ago, and the other hands on the dial would line up to tell you the exact position of Mercury, Venus, uh, Mars, and Saturn in the sky at oh. any time in the past or the future. So a, a time machine it was to in take essence, us back a, or it, astronomical calculation. It was an astronomical calculating computer wow. based on gear-driven devices. But think of the intellect required for that.